Well, well, well. The Northman. I just came out of the cinema and uh, I'm actually shocked. There were no strategic moments, no social programming, no ulterior messages, none of that silliness. <laughs> and uh, what really surprised me about this movie the most was the the spiritual visions contained and the Forgive me if I just confuse terms here and there. It doesn't really matter if we just say the uh, <clears throat> the weaving of fate, uh, the way that the weird is 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 portrayed, uh, fate, destiny, honor, vengeance. Um, but above all, the the depictions of the gods it was it was just a beautiful thing to behold and, and so inspiring i've never i've never seen in, in in a movie um european paganism depicted so respectfully and uh, and and faithfully <clears throat> really just really uh, shocking actually and uh all of the uh, all of the sets, uh, the scenery, the, the, the tapestries, the uh, the countryside, the the costuming, and <clears throat> there was even one moment where you had this uh, a guy uh, around the campfire, and the headdress that he was wearing, and the fact that he he was holding two spears which were crossed. I just immediately recognised that from the the Sutton Who helmet, which I know. Uh, has that Germanic flavour which this depiction is seen elsewhere, and uh, the uh, the spear dancer, whatever it's called, just everything, just everything about. I, I, I'm actually I sort of lost for words. I, there's no. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but like there is this moment as well where. Our main guy is hanging from a, a barn roof and some ravens fly in and they uh, peck away at the, the rope suspending him till he drops and the moment that he drops spoilers the moment that he drops I, if I could see it again maybe I could who is that what but it was it was like the equivalent of the uh, the Morrigan standing behind him. Every, every sink, it was just littered. There's a moment as well where he um, goes into an ancient tomb and has a kind of uh, uh, a contest with uh, uh, the undead. And the way that this is, this was so clever but he looks back to the original um, place where he took the sword, the uh, the throne, if you like, and he's standing there, and he just simply takes the sword. But in the vision, he had to fight for the sword. So, like, he takes the sword, and the you know the undead um, king uh, just immediately comes alive and attacks him. And once the fight is resumed, he looks back at the throne and sees himself simply taking the sword. As if to say, this didn't actually really happen in, in physical reality, but it was like a kind of uh, otherworldly spiritual duel. It was just, just so, just, just little touches like that, so clever. But um, once the, the mission was complete, the... Uh, uh, the protagonist, as a young boy, rides into Valhall on, on a white horse, and uh, just just everything about this. There was there's just no tackiness, like like none at all. Um, every single every single just just the whole thing from beginning to end, non patronising, inspiring, but also 
uncomfortable because you're sitting there thinking, oh God, what are these, these what these people had to go through? Like I'm sure the, these kinds of things happened. Yeah, the, the absolute brutality was well, it was disturbing, and um, the the beauty, the absolute beauty of um, the romantic element. Because you know, like you usually get that chucked in in a movie, like oh, we better chuck in a love interest here. But it, it all made sense. There was even there was even a, a couple of scenes I think where we, we got to see Yggdrasil and the the family members, the the you know going on from the ancestors, and uh, uh, to see the future of the uh, the protagonist's progeny just. <clears throat> I left it thinking that there's just there was just nothing missed out. There was nothing missed out. And um you know you get that sort of feeling here and there like uh well I mean I do like God like this is it's real. Um even with the, the cultural flavings taking all that into the flavorings taking that into consideration. Uh, the the shamanism the the visions people really experience this and, and still do uh, really experience this <clears throat> even though you 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 knew that beyond these um, very specific depictions um, there would be ultimate truth if you like it 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 didn't it serviced that beautifully you knew this was the um uh the Norse spirit world interacting uh with the Norse people in, in within the movie and uh just inspiring just uh, just honestly I can safely say it made uh, I mean I really enjoy Braveheart anyway but it made that look like a Disney film um this 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 is the best movie that I've ever seen. Like, no complaints. Everything was catered for the people, politics, the drama, uh, the, the you know the the hero's journey, <clears throat> the, the the love interest, um, the struggles, the twists in the storyline where you where you get to find out oh this is not how I thought it would be. There's something you know something's being revealed here. Everything made sense, but that thread of 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 the weird, of the you know, the weaving of the norns of destiny, everything just absolutely perfect. I almost feel that I I just can't <clears throat> I can't really remember specifics too much. I was just bowled over by the experience, and that's what you want, isn't it? You just walk out and you're bowled over uh, by the experience, and. Um, so surprising in this day and age so surprising 11 out of 10 the amplifier was turned up to 11 and the guitar was let rip on a power cord which vibrated through Yggdrasil to Valhall and into the underworld through hell and all of the gods and all of the ancestors were shaken by the pure metal of this movie. Hell yeah. Good night.